we're working with the rarest plants, these really endangered and threatened plants here in Hawaii. And Hawaiian plants, nearly half of all the endangered plants listed in the United States uh, are Hawaiian species. Um, you know, and so we're working with like the rarest, in this case, some of the rarest of the rare here. This is the seed bank at Lion Arboretum. Um, and so we're a repository for all the rare plants across the uh, entire Hawaiian island chain. Um, so we'll get plants from all the other islands, or seeds, excuse me, from all the other islands. Uh, and they'll come here and they're stored in cool, dry conditions. And that's really to help extend the shelf life of the seeds, uh, to really help store them longer um, in case they end up going extinct in the wild. Some of the species that we're working with, there are only a few individuals left, if at all, in the wild. And so it's critical that they stay here in these conditions, uh, whether they be refrigerated or if they can tolerate freezing, we'll freeze them so that we can store them for long periods of time. Micropropagation Lab and the seed conservation facility we work hand in hand. It's a very valuable and important collaboration, partnership, I guess you would want to say, uh, in a way where we can overlap in our conservation efforts. So what they cannot store or propagate, we can do it and vice versa. So if there are seeds that come in that are not optimal for storage in the seed lab, and, but they're so valuable that we cannot waste the material, then they can come to the micropropagation and we can propagate it there. It's important for conservation too, to like as I was saying before, like really to get them back home. I mean, like to, to store these rare plants. Like ultimately, that's our goal. Is like you know you can keep them here for for so long, um, you know, and eventually all of them will will die. I mean, they're not going to live forever. And so we're constantly doing those germination tests to really push our notion of how much longer we can store these seeds, um, while at the same time you know constantly germinating these. Um, to make sure that we can get them back home to the islands that they come from in hopes that out planting them or, or put planting them back in their in their home environment uh, so that they can you know, be repropagated and, and start to grow again.